We're going to turn to those newly released 911 calls and that deadly home invasion. A son on the phone with police just moments after he shot three masked intruders who broke into his father's house armed. ABC's Kana Whitworth is on the scene in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, with much more for us. Good morning, Kana. David, good morning. I spoke with that 911 operator. She says 23 year old Zach Peters was terrified, in shock, and pleading for medical help for the three teens after shooting them. I've just been broken into. Three men, two have shot in my house. This morning, new 911 audio of the Oklahoma break in that left three teenagers dead. Are they bleeding? Yes, I believe one's. One's down, one's still talking. You need to get here now. That's 23 year old Zach Peters pleading with the 911 operator to send help after shooting three masked intruders. Okay, what did you shoot them with? They are 15. Monday afternoon, in broad daylight, police say three teenagers armed with brass knuckles and a knife shattered the glass back door of this home. Peters was there and opened fire. Do you know where they both are, sir? One's in the kitchen, one crawled into the northeast corner bedroom. In the third one, I did not shoot, he ran outside. The suspects have been identified as 19-year-old Maxwell Cook, 17-year-old Jacob Redfern, and 16-year-old Jacob Woodruff. Do you have anything you'd like to say? The accused getaway driver, 21-year-old Elizabeth Marie Rodriguez, allegedly the mastermind behind the heist. Her friend, Ethan Ellison, claiming she called him right after the three boys were killed. She said that they thought that the house was empty. All she knows is she heard over 12 gunshots, so she freaked out and left. After turning herself in, Rodriguez was arrested under an Oklahoma law that says someone can be charged with murder if they take any part in a fatal crime. She's now facing three counts of felony first degree murder and three counts of first degree burglary. Now, Allison also telling police that Rodriguez took the boys to that same house earlier that day and they made off with liquor and speakers, but it wasn't enough for her to pay her rent. So they went back and that's when they were killed. David. Wow, incredible. They went back a second time. Kena, thank you. Let's bring in legal analyst Nancy Grace. Nancy, good morning. Always great to have you back. And a lot of talk about this being a test of these so-called stand your ground laws. But a lot of people listening to this story are going to say three masked intruders armed themselves that the homeowner's son had every right to protect himself and shoot them. So what are the prosecutors examining here? Well, you're darn right. This is stand your ground. All those stand your ground laws really got a bad rap after George Zimmerman used that when he gunned down a teen boy, Trayvon Martin. So that's why everyone has it in their mind that stand your ground is a bad thing. It's not. What it is really is a souped up self-defense. And in this case, you've got a 23-year-old young guy at home. He lives with his parents. He hears a break and he goes down, skids into the kitchen and and sees three guys dressed in black with masks, gloves, the works, brass knuckles, a knife. They have an exchange of words and he unleashes the weapon. It is an AR-15. That's considered uh, bad in a lot of ways. It's just like an uh, M16 military rifle. It is semi-automatic, and that has really turned a lot of heads. But it doesn't matter if you're using an AR or a BB gun. If somebody comes in your house, you have a right to defend yourself. Imagine coming in your kitchen and seeing three guys standing there. So I really think this boils down to self-defense. And I'll tell you what's going to be the hang up. Here's the sticky part that felony murder charge they're looking at for Rodriguez. She's looking down the wrong end of a barrel at three murder charges. She masterminds the whole thing, according to reports. She eggs them on. She gets them to go in, commit the burglary to pay her rent money. And the first time she hears a gunshot, bam, she's out of there and leaves them to die. So, yeah, she's in a lot of trouble. Yeah, I, I would not say the shooter, Zach, is in trouble. That's what I wanted to ask you about because those are the only charges that right now are against the young woman you talk about who was waiting in the car. And you believe those charges stick? Oh, I think they're absolutely going to stick. You know, at first, everyone was wondering, well, stand your ground or in Oklahoma, I guess an homage to Dirty Harry. They call it the make my day instead of stand your ground. Everyone was wondering, you know, he uses a semi-automatic weapon on these three teens. Is he going to be charged? 
No, I don't think he's going to be charged. It's going to be open and shut self-defense. The sticky point, as I say, is this girl, Stephanie uh, Rodriguez. Mm -hmm. She is the one. Elizabeth Rodriguez is facing three charges of felony murder. All right, Nancy Grace with us this morning. Nancy always cuts to the chase. Thanks, Nancy.